Michaela McAllister. And we've got another Project MC Squared review, as so we hope you enjoy. Project MC Squared! Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. And we are reviewing some dolls for the first time, kind of in a while. I know, um, so long. Yeah. Uh, this is a new wave of Project MC Squared dolls. We have reviewed a couple of those in the past and you guys seem to really like them. So we're doing the brand new wave for 2018. If you'd like to check out our previous reviews of Project MC Squared dolls or want to learn more about this brand, I will link all that in the description. Um, so this, I believe, is wave six. It's the 2018 wave, and this is the full collection of the main primary, um, you know, like the main fashion doll line. This is excluding the budget lines for this year. And this wave includes Adrienne's Hair Streak, Ember's Lip Gloss, Michaela's Cocoa Bronzer, and Bryden's Nail Powder. Um, so the packaging is pretty basic. It's, you know, it's the usual Project MC Squared packaging. They always use that same, like, zigzag pattern in the background. Um, the, the impression I have is I, I don't know how this is going to tie into the series. I don't know what season the Netflix show is on now, but, um, this one seems like... Honestly, like these girls look like they're ready to like go out to the club. <laughs> it's totally like like night out. A the lot club. of sequins, <laughs> yeah. fur, Paris Hilton vibes yeah. from especially from Adrian. Yeah. So yeah, I'm super excited to open these. Um, of course, per usual, they each come with an experiment, which we will show you guys what is in each one. And yeah, that's it for the front of the packaging. It's just your run of the mill Project MC Squared packaging. Um, and they show you some details about the experiments that you get in each box, which by the way, these dolls sell at a really weird price point. <laughs> yeah, so these dolls sell for a weird price point of $20.49. Um, I found them at Target. We'll get more into that in final thoughts, but yeah, I think these are, from the looks of it, very good deal for like barely over 20 bucks. Um, so that's it for the front of the packaging. Let's go ahead and take a look at the backs. Alright, so here we have the back of Adrian's box. You get a little blurb about the character. And I love these, I love these little glam shots they always do of the dolls on the back of the box. It's really cute, really pretty. I'm pretty sure what they used to do was like pictures of the actresses, stuff like that in it, but um These are cute. Yeah, I appreciate these a lot. So for the back of Ember's box, same deal. You get some glam shots of the character and her wearing the accessories she comes with. Um, and as you can see, yeah, there's shots of all four girls. This is the full wave, the core wave. All right, and this is the back of the box for Michaela's Coco Bronzer experiment. I just noticed, yeah, they have like some information too about the type of experiment. Like this, this one has like history of chocolate, <laughs> stuff like that. All right, and finally we have the back of Bryden's box. And she was, I wonder, is this, is, I wonder if this character is like a gamer or something. She always has like pixelated stuff. She had like Tetris pants in one release, so I'm not sure. But that's it for the packaging. So let's go ahead and open these girls up and give you guys a closer look at the dolls. All right, so first up we have Adrienne's hair streak um, out of box. Adrienne has gorgeous, she has like a really beautiful like honey blonde hair, it's kind of mm -hmm. like a dirty blonde, um, and she's wearing a silver tiara accessory, um, her makeup is slathered in glitter, she has some glittery white eyeshadow and some sugar pink lips which also have some glitter speckled on them. She is wearing a super cute outfit. I'm obsessed with her outfit. Um, she's wearing a nice kind of metallic looking lavender top which is covered with a big faux fur coat which has streaks of pink, white, and black. Uh, it's very soft, very nice to the touch, and she's wearing a plastic necklace accessory that's pretty large. It goes like past her waist. Um, it's kind of like a faux pearl necklace. Um, there's little rose designs on it and there's a heart on the top one. She totally looks like a princess and I love it. Bearing a little bit of midriff and then she has a very cute black mini skirt that's kind of ruffled and she also has a pair of glasses. Yeah, horn rim glasses that are black with some silver and on her shoes um, she has so these much tan. Detail. Yeah, so. she has these tan um, above the ankle socks, 
that are, has little black bow ties on them. And for her shoe, she has these high heel wedges covered in glitter. Tons of glitter, glitter on like the wedge yeah. itself, yeah. And gold bands. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous shoes. Whole doll's gorgeous, love her. Next up, we have Ember Evergreen, Ember's lip gloss. She is sporting her usual lovely red hair. Um, it is tied back in a bump on the top of her head um, and extends down to a little past her thighs. Um, she's wearing probably, I, in comparison to some others in this line, her makeup's a little bit simpler. Um, she has kind of a nude lip and, um, you know, dramatic rooted eyelashes kind of cover up um, the sparkly eyeshadow she's wearing, which is kind of like a tan color. Little bees. Yeah, she's wearing some really cute little earrings. They're like gold bees. There seems to be like a bee theme going on with her. Moving on to her outfit, she's wearing a nice little sparkly golden yellow top um, and is wearing what seems to be, it's supposed to be kind of imitating like, um, like a pleather jacket um, and it has a nice open popped collar and there's a really cute floral design on the sides with some bees. And she's... Ah! <laughs> and s no. <laughs> and she has a very cute belt that she's wearing and there's a nice little bee emblem on the front of the belt and she is wearing a cute little skirt that is some um, it almost looks like it's like dipped in gold paint it's like a it's like a glittery denim skirt that it literally looks like the bottom was like was like dunked in golden paint it's really cute um, she comes with an accessory a pair of sunglasses that have some nice pink lenses and there are like little daisies on either side of the rims super cute and moving down to her shoes she is also wearing open toed wedges and the straps on this one are a deep blue the color of the wedge itself is kind of like a almost like a tan lavender it's a really gentle color and there's a floral design on one of the straps all right so next up we have Michaela and her set is called Michaela's Coco Bronzer. For her look, she has this high ponytail um, that goes all the way down to her thighs. And um, she has very light pink lipstick on that's kind of glossy, as well as some very silver gradient eyeshadow that changes to this kind of pinkish color. For her hair piece, she has these cute little hairpins that she's tied to her bangs. And moving down to her outfit, she has this very white um, sequence dress on. And over that, she has this pleather um, maroon jacket on. And what I love is they're actually little um, buck buckles on it. And uh, over that she has another button-up shirt that she has tied around her waist. Very cute. So you can actually change up her look. And it's an actual shirt. You can actually take that off and she can actually wear it. For her shoes, she has these nice black and purple wedges. That's very Friday night going out <laughs> look. Last but not least, we have Bryden's Nail Powder, out of box. Bryden is sporting some really cute, it's like a very soft brown hair. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a golden brunette hair. Um, and she has some lovely makeup. Um, she has like a deep kind of, almost like a wine purple lip um, that is coated in glitter. Mine is not so cleanly coated in glitter, but it's still cute. She has, it actually it seems like almost all the girls have, it's mostly like a silver white um, sparkly eyeshadow. Uh -huh. And um, she does come with, uh, when you take, you know, when you first take her out of box, she has a super cute little hat that says, talk to you later, hyphenated on it. It's like a little black cap. And you can put it on her. Yeah. <laughs> she looks so fashionable with it on. It's mm -hmm. Very cute. It's kind of like cocked sideways in the box. Moving on to her outfit, she's wearing a very loud, tacky outfit. Um, she's wearing like a one-piece top that has a crazy, like, psychedelic, scientific-looking design on it. 
it's really funny. There's like a little QR code <laughs> scanner. I actually think they're really clever with the stuff they put on Bryden's clothes. It's always very like tech, tech and gaming culture kind of stuff. It's really cute. Um, and she is wearing, frankly, what I think is very like like Illumin Illuminati looking like um, like puffy jacket. Um, and it's very textured, it's kind of soft, it's like a yellow, and it has little open blue eyes all over it. And her shoes are similarly loud. Um, she is wearing some really interesting socks. They're kind of like, um, like a netting, like, t uh, tool kind of, like, glittery socks. Um, and she is wearing some sneakers that, uh, they almost look like there's, like, spray-painted rainbow. Um, and I'm super into it. It's really cool, really loud. So, as with most um, Coraline Project MC Squared dolls, uh, this wave, they all come with experiments. Uh, Michaela in this wave comes with a little compact and what looks like, it's like a, you know, makeup, um, like, what is it? It looks like a makeshift, like, beauty blender or something like that, yeah. where you can allegedly make your own um, bronzer, oh, your own cocoa bronzer. Um, this is what you use to rub it on your skin. Yes. It's like a sponge. And um, Amber comes with a little compact as well um, to make your own lip gloss so you can, you know, mold little flower shapes. There's a little brush in there to apply the lip gloss as well. I think this case is really cute. Yeah. It has like a flower design they on it. They give you instructions on how to do these, but they don't give you any supplies. Yeah, so that's the only, that's kind of the crummy thing about Project MC Squared experiments is like they give you these little accessories, but you have, you have to totally go out and buy like all the ingredients for this stuff yeah. like yourself. So it's kind of a hassle, but um, the accessories are cute. Um, and this, this totally, I thought it was like a fidget spinner of some weird kind, but it is, um, Brighton's, yeah, so this is, um, I guess like a nail. You fill these up with nail powder. Yeah, with nail powder. It's, I guess, yeah, like a... These are little containers. Make your own little nail polish, whatever. This is Adrienne's. Yeah. And, um, it's where you can make some okay. hair streaks. How do you take this out? Yeah, I'm not completely... This one's easier. <clears throat> There you go. Oh yeah, this one might be like stuck. Yeah. <laughs> That's in pretty deep. So these are these are cute little accessories. Um, yeah, again, cute. This looks like mascara. It does. It does not. It's, oh, it totally does, yeah. Because you use it on your hair. Hmm, interesting, yeah. So yeah, it looks like the, a lot of this is, it's very like makeup themed, yeah. this line. Appropriate <laughs> for the girls' night out. All right, let's move on to final thoughts. All right, so these are our final thoughts on the 2018 core wave of Project MC Squared dolls. I really think that Project MC Squared is a line of dolls that collectors should hold dear right now because they are a dying breed. Um, you know, we talked about if you guys watched our last Shibajuku Girls review, um, there aren't really that many doll lines out there anymore nowadays. Um, that have full articulation and layered clothing um, and makeup and you know accessories and you know this level of detail within what I would consider a reasonable price range um, you know I know for a long time like 25 and 25 plus was probably considered kind of like too much or overkill to a lot of parents which I feel like was probably part of the reason why you know deluxe doll lines like Ever After High and some of the nicer Monster High, Monster High lines um, kind of fell to the wayside and started struggling, um, but I think these dolls are absolutely worth worth your money, especially because I'm under the impression they reduced the prices, because I'm pretty sure these main lines used to be closer to like 23, 25 for some of the older dolls, so they reduced the prices, and I'm not seeing any, you know, decrease in detail. Um, these dolls are super beautiful. Um, I really like the theme of this one. You know, it's very trendy, very fashionable. They look like they're ready for a night out on the town. I like that they have a youthful, exuberant look to them, but they do still also have a nice little air of maturity. So, you know, it doesn't feel like they're completely targeted at, um, you know, very young children and very young children only. So I would highly recommend Project MC Squared. If you are, in the doll community still, if you're new to the doll community and you value detail and um, fashion forward, you know, outfits and bang for your buck 
and articulation, posability, so you can take nice, beautiful pictures of your dolls. I would highly recommend these. Um, I would say the only downside um, is I've noticed that despite the fact that these dolls are fully articulated, um, the articulation can be a little bit flimsy at times, like some of their joints can be kind of loose or, you know, and some of them, I, I'm impressed Sang was able to get like, like some of these to stand up on their own, which is glorious, but yeah, some of them like could not stand at all and they have super wobbly limbs. Um, but overall, I would say there's not a single doll in this wave, in my opinion, that's like, like bad or like ugly, like not worth your money. These get a definite yes from me. Um, yeah, they're very fun. Yeah, they're one of the last few doll lines left on the shelves, which is pretty ironic since I don't think MC Squared ever found like a huge cult following. Like, I'm so Monster curious High. what their success is. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, they're still there. They're still hanging there. But um, but yeah, these are pretty detailed, and I love all the fashion and I miss that they don't come with stands anymore. I know the first wave did, but everything else didn't. Um, definitely these girls do not stand on their own very well, so it's kind of a bummer that they don't come with stands. But you can probably find some cheap, you know, knockoff stands on eBay and stuff, so it's not a total loss. They're definitely one of the last few doll lines that still care about, you know, their integrity of what these characters represent and these outfits that you can interchange and mishmash and, you know, what kids love to do with their dolls. Alright, thank you for joining us for our review of the full 2018 wave of core Project MC Squared dolls. Make sure to let us know who's your favorite in the comments, what you guys think of this wave, what you'd like to see us review next, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.